Vampire Weekend. Uh, happy 4th of July and welcome to Bergster. Thank you, thank you. It's, a, it's always a great day. We've actually spent two of our last three, no, three years ago we spent July 4th here as well. I know. So it's a tradition for us. You had a Born in the USA playing as your intro song and I think, Chris, you were wearing a, a, like a Stars and Stripes uh, wife beater, right? Well, I call it a tank top. A tank top. But uh, yes, I believe I was. <laughs> uh, what kind of a treat are we in for today? Because you're going to be playing the main stage on the 4th of July once again. Well, we, I don't know, we don't want to reveal too much, but we do have something that's different from the rest of this tour that's going to happen today. No. Yeah. Yes. Here, only at Verkter, behind us. Exclusive. It's very big and it's behind us, that's all I'll say. So ch check out Google Image Search, Verkter, and see, see what the big surprise was. Looking forward to it. Guys, uh, congratulations on the new record. It's, uh, it's, it's the last record you're going to be, you're, you're, you will have made before you turn 30. Same for me, I'm turning 30 next year. Did it have any influence on how you approached the songwriting or was it just like, whatever? Um, I think it had some influence. Yeah. I think it'd be a lie to say that it, it didn't have any influence on us, but uh, yeah, I mean, we, we felt like we really wanted to bring the heat and uh, we weren't gonna, you know, put out an album unless we were really happy with every single song, so. Is there a big 30th birthday bash? Coming up, a special show? Oh, uh, we're not going to be on tour, but it's Rostam's up first. Over the, in November, and then over the next six months, we'll all be turning 30. I guess not a little bit more than that, but we'll be together for some, we'll be sharing some 30s over the next year or so, definitely. And who's the one who's related to, um, to Steve Buscemi? Yeah. <laughs> What's true about that whole story? It's very distant and I figured it out on the internet. And when he found out, he was very excited to direct our show at Roseland a couple months back. How much fun was it uh, acting out those little videos like you when, went out to dinner with him, he came to the studio, like, how much fun was that with Steve Buscemi, the one and only? It was a lot of fun, I Chris. Mean, it was fun, it was also very weird because, as you know, unprofessional, untrained actors ourselves, yeah. uh, you know, going, going, to, going toe to toe, <laughs> going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the all-time greats. It just felt weird and I felt very out of my depth. But uh, he was very nice, very helpful with it, and yeah, I, th I thought they turned out well. But last question. I think it was Ezra who said the best way to shut up the haters is just put out great songs. So I was wondering... Oh, you said it? <laughs> and you said it. You said it, sir. <laughs> Did you think that was a great quote of yourself? No. <laughs> I think that's a great quote. I think that's a great quote. I was wondering if, if you remember any bands you initially used to, well, hate, and then uh, they made you, like, change your mind as soon as they put out a certain really, like, undeniably magnificent song. I had that with you too, for example. Huh. I, well, I don't think, I, I personally, never, I don't hate bands often, but I think even if you don't like their music and you see it, like, longevity and even if like it doesn't appeal to you, and but you see that other people really get into it after a long period of time, you have to respect that. Yeah. Anyone that can make music for a long time and have people really enjoy it, there's you, you always got to respect that, especially as that's something we're we're trying to do as well. Um, but uh, I don't know. I say, I mean, I didn't like the National, but then I really like High Violet. Okay. I like every song on High Violet, but besides or before that, I didn't like the National, so they converted me. I didn't dislike them, but I didn't get it. You know, I wasn't a hater, but I didn't, I, I wasn't head over heels, but I really like High Violet, so. Well, and if I'm not mistaken, they're playing here today, so you can, right after us. Right after, so you can just stay on the side of the stage. Leave a note to uh, one of the Desners and maybe they'll pick it up and read it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and have a lot of fun playing, guys. Thank you so much for the talk, and I'll be seeing you at the 30th uh, birthday bash. Yeah, just cheers. let me see you there. know uh, where and when, and I'll bring Jim. some, some beers. Sean from Jim, man, all the way. Vampire Weekend. <laughs>